Today we're going to do a little thought experiment. Let's say you and I live in the same town. We start an organization together, a club, for example. The club is pretty successful, but there are a few rumors of you being unfaithful to your spouse. You publicly and strenuously deny them, and no evidence is presented. You feel so strongly about this that you make matrimonial felicity a point of membership in the club. But then you die. Sorry about that. I take over the club and relocate it to another country, taking almost all the assets of the club and leaving your spouse with all the debts. More than half the members follow me. Almost a decade later, I confess in a club meeting that I have been having conjugal relations with several of the women in the club. But it's okay, you see, because I say I have a document from you where you claim that this behavior is necessary for the success of the club. And, in fact, you did it too. I even have the club secretary go back through the meeting notes, finding statements that you made condemning such licentiousness and editing them so you appear to have supported it. The club continues to grow, and I and other top leaders become quite wealthy from club dues and are able to support several mistresses each. This continues for about 30 years, until your sons show up, saying that you never had intimate relations with anyone except their mother. Since this would undermine the entire comfortable system, we top leaders ask our female companions to sign affidavits saying that you did, in fact, copulate with them, even though some of them would have been underage at the time, or not even members. It becomes a mantra of the club. Our courtesans start to write articles about it and give speeches. Other club members are inspired to remember what everyone already knows anyway, and they all testify to the same thing. People outside the organization start to believe it too, because after all, who would know better than your devoted followers? So now, despite your denials and without any real evidence, most people consider it a fact that you were an adulterous pedophile. Now, does anything they said about you make it true, simply by virtue of them saying it? Hopefully, you're astute enough to realize that's a no. Now ask yourself, if you could see what was happening, would you want people to believe the lies about you without question? Or would you hope that they would demand better evidence than altered documents and biased assertions? You probably would want people to look for the truth, rather than believing those who used your name to justify their actions. I assume that you realize that this experiment is a mirror of how the story of Joseph Smith's polygamy was built. I believe Joseph, instead of those who used his name, to excuse themselves in committing whoredoms. Please extend to Joseph the same courtesy you would want for yourself.